Hey friends, day four in this instant noodle series that I'm doing. I want to get through this bag of Japanese noodles. Start with Japan today again. And this is the type that you take the whole thing out and boil it in a sauce pot. All right, and there are instructions on it. But they're kind of vague. Here you see fire. And then this thing that looks like corn on the cob. I think that's supposed to be the noodles. And then you're supposed to boil that for four minutes or something. And then here, you see these wavy lines like you're putting the seasoning in after you've boiled it? Does that make sense? And then here it says that you can add anything you want. Wild vegetables and all kinds of stuff. All right, let's dig into it and see what we can do. Another plastic packaging for the noodles. And let's see what this is. This is definitely sauce that is a liquid. Okay, let's get to it. Um, in my last video about Japanese noodles, I ended up saying, thank you, Japan. And this one leaves me saying, go to hell, Japan. It's not bad, but man, this is really boring. Number five, Taiwanese noodles. These noodles were in the exotic section, but they're actually from Taiwan, Taiho Dian. I think that's probably some kind of famous restaurant or something. Ah, it's so easy. The instructions are all in Chinese. And to be friendly to the environment, they not only have the outside packaging, they have the inside packaging. And then this plastic tray aside, they have a plastic bag around the noodles too. And then here are the three flavoring packets, which I will put in the bowl now and that doesn't, that doesn't smell good and then we'll figure it out. Okay, I boiled the noodles as the instructions suggested. And let's add them here. There's always one. And there it goes. Mix it up. That was a lot of mixing. Doesn't really look like the picture, does it? Oh well. It's kind of weak, but it passes. All right, that's not too bad. Better than those, those Japanese ones that I just ate. After my first bite of this, this is actually getting better. This is actually pretty good. Okay, this is a win. Good job, Taiwan. Taiho did. And here's the package. This is starting to burn my mouth a teeny bit in that kind of mala way. And that's, that's working. This is actually not bad. All right, tomorrow. Uh-oh. Tomorrow we're doing white curry from Penang in Malaysia. And I think I've had this before, and that's going to be good. Hey friends, let's finish off today's video with 
Benang white curry noodle. I should say noodles, I think, but that's the only English mistake I can find on here. This English is really good. This is from Malaysia. Like I said, I think I've had this before and it seems pretty good. Now the instructions are very simple, straightforward. Okay, the noodles are done. Now let's look at these packets. This one says non-dairy, this one says non-dairy creamer on it. Seasoning powder. And then this one says paste, natural ingredients. It's very, very yellow in color. And when I opened the package, the smell of yellow curry came out everywhere. So let's see what these things look like. Well, I didn't mean it by saying paste, I guess. Let's see if I can get it all. Mix it up. Stirred for about a minute. Tried to break up all the, the chunks of paste in there. Let's give this a try. That is good. Oh, that is really good. It's a little bit spicy, which I like. Yeah, look at this. I can't wait to finish the noodles and then drink the soup at the end. That's gonna be great. All right, this is a total win. This is a good, this is a good one. Thank you, Malaysia. No thank you, Japan, today. Nor the other day. But, and thank you, Taiwan. Hey, those, those Taiwanese noodles that I ate yesterday actually turned out to be a little bit spicy. It's like by the time I finished it, I could really feel that warmth in my, in my body. It didn't burn my mouth, but this is burning my mouth a little bit, but not bad. Okay, next video. Now, next video is going to be all Korea. I found these at 7-Eleven, and they even put them in a paper bag for me. All right. Here's one. This is Yokui Ramen. Oh, I think that's just the name of it. Maybe they are all the same. Well, anyway. See if you can figure out what that is. Some crap head just crapped a crown. And this one has a, a ram with ram hands. This one's cool. It's got a bowl on it with wicked ramen. And the instructions even showed the bowl cooking it. You can see that. All right. Starting tomorrow, that's going to be fun. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get back to this. This is great. Take care, everybody. Have a good day and be safe out there.